Ever wondered what secrets the universe holds? What was the beginning like? Our tale commences with the Big Bang Theory, currently the most widely accepted explanation for the universe's genesis. Picture an infinitesimal singularity, brimming with potential energy, exploding into existence, creating space, time, and all matter as we know it. This theory is not just a mere conjecture, but the result of countless observations, calculations, and deductions by some of the brightest minds humanity has ever known. One such mind was the renowned physicist, Stephen Hawking. Hawking, a name synonymous with cosmology, was a staunch supporter of the Big Bang Theory. His groundbreaking research and theories have significantly advanced our understanding of the universe. Through his eyes, the universe is a vast, complex, and incredibly fascinating entity that began with a Big Bang. While science presents us with the Big Bang Theory, what does religion, specifically the Quran, have to say about it? Stephen Hawking, a name synonymous with cosmology, had an intriguing perspective on the Big Bang Theory. This brilliant mind, who spent his life probing the mysteries of the universe, held a fascinating view on its origins. Hawking believed in the spontaneous creation of the universe from nothing, no creator required. Imagine, if you will, the universe springing into existence on its own from an infinitesimal point of singularity, exploding into the vast cosmos we know today. It's a concept that's as mind-boggling as it is captivating. Hawking's belief is underscored by his famous quote, because there is a law such as gravity, the universe can and will create itself from nothing. This statement reflects his conviction that the laws of physics alone can explain the universe's existence. Hawking's perspective, while scientifically compelling, does contrast with religious interpretations of the universe's creation. Let's explore this next. The Quran, the holy book of Islam, has its unique interpretation of the universe's creation. It speaks of a singular act of creation and an ongoing expansion. This perspective is encapsulated in the verse. Do not those who disbelieve see that the heavens and the earth were a closed up mass, then we open them up. This verse, from the 21st chapter and 30th verse of the Quran, is often interpreted as aligning with the Big Bang theory. In this interpretation, the closed-up mass refers to the singularity from which the universe expanded, and the subsequent opening refers to the universe's ongoing expansion. This concept of a singular act of creation followed by expansion closely mirrors the scientific understanding of the Big Bang and the universe's ongoing expansion. While the Quran acknowledges a singular act of creation, it attributes this to a divine creator, contrasting with Hawking's view. While both Hawking and the Quran agree on a single creation event, their interpretations diverge on the cause. This divergence is the crux of our exploration. Hawking posits the universe's inception as a result of natural laws like gravity, not requiring divine intervention. He views the cosmos as self-sufficient, its existence a consequence of physics. On the flip side, the Quran asserts the universe's creation as a deliberate act by an omnipotent entity, a purposeful design, not an incident of chance or natural laws. Yet, convergence is found in their mutual acknowledgement of a distinct, singular point of origin. They both appreciate the universe's extraordinary complexity and its vast, immeasurable expanse. These differences and similarities between the scientific and religious perspectives enrich our understanding of the universe. They instigate thought, provoke debate, and inspire wonder. Whether you lean towards a scientific explanation or a religious one, the mystery of the universe's creation continues to captivate us all.